the music that is Peter Hilder from uh, New Zealand this medicine hoodoo mentira oh, he does monk it's kind of like a monk kind of folk kind of thing so I figure it would be a great idea to clear the energy from all the spookiness so we maybe go to sleep early or okay <laughs> no no nightmares <laughs> so if you're going to be going to sleep right after the show make sure you uh, drink some hot cocoa have a Good night, and uh, tell yourself a nice, happy nursery rhyme bed story. Really? So yeah. So, what kind of nursery rhyme should they? You, you go give us a sample there. Um. Well, probably should avoid most of the ones like uh, you know, Billy Goats because that's got a troll in it. <laughs> so uh, you don't want to do that. Jack and the Beanstalks got the giant. Might get nightmares from that. Little Red Riding Hood has the wolf. Mike and Nymers from that. Well, you know, nursery rhymes are probably not the best either. Don't do not do that. Well, I was kind of actually kind of hoping you'll actually give me an example, like, do one. Oh, you wanted me to tell you a story? Yeah. Um... If I told you a story, it would be one of those like crazy choose your own adventure things. Only it would probably have like Maximus. <laughs> Sean's here. <laughs> that was rad. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he was he was a part of the show the whole entire time. He didn't even do anything. He was speechless the whole entire show. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good suggestion though. He could, we could read Good Night Moon. My daughter. We we read. Uh, what is that? Good night, little sea otter. Anybody know yeah. that one? No, That's a nice, heartwarming little good night, little sea you otter. Don't sell us. We're ending the show here in a few minutes. So, in the, so I don't have the book with me. I don't have it memorized. Oh my god! Heard. You suck. I'm gonna buy a copy of Samuel L. Jackson's "Go to Sleep." <laughs> three <laughs> little bears. The show. Do you know the three little bears? <laughs> See, that's. People always read that one wrong, too. The bears win at the end. They get Goldilocks. <laughs> Unless, am I reading that story wrong? I'm, nah. It's, it's, nah. Hey, I'm going to freaking Google <laughs> this stuff. I mean, seriously. You as soon as us tell a Red Dime story, and you can't even think of anything. Three little bears. So since Sean poked that up up there, three little bears. Okay. Say okay, you guys ready? I was there. I Sean, I was in their house. <laughs> All right, there you guys. It go. was terrifying. The porridge was never the right temperature. You want to tell the story? I would have no problem sending you this link. <laughs> no, I'm just dramatic. Dramatic tension. So okay, I can't give you this. Link. Okay, the story of the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. 
Once upon a time, she broke in. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She was walking. The See, forest. it was a castle doctrine. Sean knows they were just defending their property. Oh, I give up playing. I give up reading this. Damn I'm, thing. I'm singing the nice little nursery song nope, in the back. I give up. For you. I'm done. I, 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 I close the window. <laughs> <laughs> she broke in. <laughs> oh, alrighty. Anyway, so. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I'm like lost for words now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Twenty to life for Gold Knox, but the bears struck first. <laughs> hey, speaking of, you know, let's get let's keep keep the simple, keep the going. Is there any haunted movies coming out? Um, this time of year? Well, I mean, I, there's usually something, but I don't know. A lot of the movies that they pump out for Halloween are usually kind of crap. Um, because they're supposed to, they're just trying to get you that quick scare for your buck. Um, of course. They usually do, like, Halloween, the movie franchise, uh, um, marathons at some theaters i don't know if they're doing any in my neck of the woods at the moment but they do that kind of stuff and uh that's usually pretty good because it shows the original halloween mike myers the killer not the actor although that would be funny wouldn't it because he would play the killer and the girl and the girl's friends that would be so (laughs) confusing It'd be like Austin Powers, only with, you know, not. (laughs) 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 I can definitely feel, I can definitely tell you're feeling a lot better than last week. (laughs) Kind of, yeah, I mean, I'm getting there. It's a, (laughs) it's a rough life being in the school. People miss it when you're gone. Sean knows. Um, Sean, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody named Sean knows. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, why wouldn't they? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <sighs> All right, so that was that. <laughs> All righty. You know what, guys? I love you guys. You guys know I always try to go the four hours, but getting up at three o'clock in the morning, I'm not used to it. So how about we do this? Just this one night only. I'm going to kill the show early. <laughs> Shells is cashing out. I'm cashing out. I'm not a morning person. I I work graveyard. I rather work nights, but I am getting up like. Three, Shells fought the law and the law. Three thirty every single morning. I got to catch the bus at. Five through in the morning to be in Seattle, and I am there on time because oh, it's I, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> so what is we're gonna do? Remember next Wednesday we are gonna be talking about Trump and all Trump. Uh, hey, do you know what? I saw a sign that someone actually took the P and the, the T and the P away and vote for rum. I'll vote for rum. Rum. You know I would vote for that. Weren't we talking Stop. about? Yeah, I was talking about the Kraken last week. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I, oh, I'm still dying for some of them. Oh, my goodness. I've had now, a taste for Kraken oh, for weeks now. Now, you know, this Friday, if anyone's in Seattle, I got to do this real quickly because I'm going to be up there. I will not be podcasting live. I'll be there just hanging out, being part of a fan. Um, I might be actually drinking. So, Black Pussy is going to be up here in Seattle at Elkhorn Zone. So if anyone in Seattle wants to have a good time, go there. I'll be there all night long. Um, Are you going to sing the song? I'll be there. What? Sing what song? The song. And I'll be there. Reach out. Four oh. tops. We're just talking about it. <laughs> Keep up with the class, Shells. Come on now. <laughs> the, the, the switch did not click on. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, what? And cashing out. It's like you're you're just I like am. one of those old folks on a Vegas field trip. I am. I'm, and I haven't even drank any wine tonight because, in fact, I have to actually go get up in a few hours. And I cannot go to work drunk. 
Why not? I mean, <laughs> I always, I always get. Keith fired Richards before. does it. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Keith Richards. I'm not Keith Richards. Uh, okay. I well, got- yeah, because he's gonna live forever because he's like a cockroach. Exactly. I mean, nothing can kill Keith Richards. No offense, Keith, if you're listening, you, you've heard the joke before. It's it's all right. He's not. He's not listening to the show. I bet he is. I, okay, Keith Richards, if you are watching the show, get a hold of me next week so I can prove to Shells that you were listening to the show. Yeah, that means we need somebody with a Keith Richards uh, accent. Have no, no, come I'm, on the show and do that. <laughs> the real Keith Richards. I bet uh, I'm gonna say if he's out there, contact me. We want him on the show. Yeah, you call, yeah. If you call contact Spider, he'll be like shit in his bricks and don't even think he was talking about. <laughs> oh, see, when uh, when David from Clump Congress was telling me about uh, the lead singer from Concrete Blonde. Yeah. Oh, see, if she was on the show, decade made. She's oh one of my one of the most meaningful songs of my entire life is sung by her. It's a cover song, but she still did it with another really awesome musician. So you know, definitely, if she was on the show. Yeah, be on the show with Keith <laughs> Keith Richards, Jeanette Napolitano. That's her name, and Keith Richards together on the show. Maybe they'll do a song for us. Right? Yeah, that'd be great. They'll just say they can sing a duo. Hey, you know what? By the way, this is that part of the show where I just go off on a tangent, if anybody remembers. This is my new segment that's not a segment because we don't know what's going to happen. I just start talking about random stuff. Yes, he does. Okay. Yeah, that's what it says. So, and I've derailed Shell's exit by another five minutes. It's it's yes. super effective. It's, like Pokemon. it's great. It's awesome. All right, so next Wednesday, we're going to talk about Trump. Why? Because I like, I let bands pick out their topics. And this is Scott, woman rock band's topic. He wants to talk about Trump and try to um, say, hey, this is why Trump should be president. And I'm like, yeah, no. Anyway. So here's the last look and listen of the promo and the song that he wrote for Trump. Okay, and then we're gonna take off. So, ready? Here is the the uh, promo that Scott did for us. Hey, Trump fans! This is Scott Gerling, aka One Man Rock Band. The only American artist writing Trump tunes will be on Let's Talk About the Music Wednesday, November second at 8 p.m. Pacific Time to talk about the basket of deplorables and all those who oppose them. Bring your sense of humor and your biggest gun. Talk to you then. (laughs) Alright, so there's a promo for next Wednesday and here is uh, Women Rock Band's song Trump uh, down double down okay all right talk to you guys last win next Wednesday anything you want to add spider um two and three make five